皆さん、こんにちは。Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Perry, and I'm your host today for Let's Talk Hawaii, live from Honolulu today. This is a program about English pronunciation, communication, and interesting things and people in Hawaii. You can see me here every other Tuesday at 3 p.m. People have asked me more information about myself, and I said, Well, I can give you my website. It's scottperryacademy.com. So you could also find my information at scottperryacademy.com. Today's topic is why you may need to repeat yourself. Now, not if you're a native speaker, but if you actually are not a native speaker and maybe from Japan or Korea or China or somewhere like that, today we're going to talk about. Why you may need to repeat yourself. The information might be a little bit surprising. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, moving on,、um, I'm going to show you the、uh, header of today's topic in Japanese. Kyono no topic ga naze jibun ga e mata i kai se naki ke nai kamo shire nai. Naka native jak da naka ta ra, eh, ma, haton ga kampiki de mo mata i e naki ke nai. Moshiroi ryu nan desu ke do. It's a research report. I'm going to show you the cover of that one, my first slide. <clears throat> Actually, and this is a topic、um, about a workshop that I'm having. So, next slide, please. Great. This is my research in pronunciation and perception. I created this several years ago when I was duplicating. A test that was done in Georgia. A university in Georgia did a test, and I was very interested in that information. It's almost unbelievable because of my field. If you don't know, I've been a pronunciation teacher, an English teacher, for over 30 years now. It was actually my, past my 31st year. えー、今日のポイントは、ジョージア州のある大学が、えー、面白いリサーチをやりましたので、私がこれから、えー、I want to repeat that, I wanted to duplicate that. So, several years ago, 何年か前、なんか10年近い前、えー、I did a similar exact、uh, research, 似てるようなリサーチ。Over 300 people I got involved, and the results are very interesting. I'm going to come up to that next. Now, if I can go back to my first slide, there we go. This is an event that's coming up. Someone asked me, Scott, what are you doing next? I saw you were in Japan. What are you doing that, when are you doing that again? I said, Well, here's the answer. My next event is going to be in Tokyo and it's going to be September 23rd. And it's going to be an all day workshop, very intensive workshop. And I've got some guest speakers of mine. The first two ladies you can see there are former students. Excellent pronunciation. One's an actress, one's a singer, and、uh, so on. So if you're interested in that, you, know, you can contact me. Let me know. All right, great. Now, <clears throat> Also, in the background, you can see why Manalo Beach, that's not on the Honolulu, well, not on the Waikiki side, but the opposite side. It's a, it's a very lovely beach, as you can see. And you can see、uh, Rabbit Island in the background. This way, Rabbit Island in the background. And、um, it's a, a very, very、uh, common, popular place for Japanese tourists and any tourist, basically. Come and enjoy that beach, beautiful water, and always a nice time there.、So、I just wanted to let you know where I was. I'm actually not there right now, but that's the background. Okay, now, <clears throat> so perception in Japanese. Now, before I get to that main point, I wanted to show you、um, I was asked recently about. And how many people come to Japan? And I said, Well, how many do you think? I asked them, and they said,、mm, 
a hundred? And I said, no, many more than that. Like, 100人以上。Like, 何百人ですよ。で、えー、500? で、500人が結構多いから、maybe you think, yeah, 500 people. 本当は何人が来ると思いますか実は、every, actually,、um, the, the airline industry keeps a report of every Japanese tourist that visits Hawaii. だから、日本の空港会社が毎日のリポートが出します。そのリポートは、えー、何人が来るで、日本から便で来ますよね、何人が来る。で、友達に聞いた、あの友達から聞かれたら、毎日何人が来るんでしょう。で、I know the answer because it's published every day in a Japanese newspaper, a daily newspaper. 毎日日本の新聞に出,し出てるから、And、uh, it tells you exactly how many people came from Japan. The Heikin wa nanin da to maimasu ka? How many do you think come on average to Hawaii? Well, the answer might surprise you. It is 5,500 people. Oman, 5,500 people. Let me see what does that look like in Japanese. So that's a、uh, 5,500 nin. 5,500 人ですね。で、来ます。Every day, on average. Sometimes 600人。Sometimes 5,000 人。6,000、5,000.But だ大体毎日そのぐらい。で平均はみんな5日間にいるか4日間か5日間にいる,い,るいますから。意味は、in seven days, in one week, Anytime in Waikiki, there's about 35,000 Japanese people on average. So that's interesting. So that's interesting. So that's interesting. 35,000 people here in Waikiki almost any day of the week. And, of course, every day, 5,500 people are coming here. So it's a rotation. And many times, 今度は皆さんが1回目じゃなくて3回目、4回目、5回目、もうよく来る人。It's like their second home. So, it's very important to be able to communicate. コミュニケーションができたらすごくいいからですね。なぜかっていうのは、まあ、ここに来て楽しんでるんでしょう。楽しみたいでしょう。だけど、話、なんか会話できなかったらちょっと困ります。Many people would love to talk and learn more about Hawaii. But you know, if you can't really interact with the local people, it's a little bit difficult. So I'm going to talk about. For those of you who are trying to improve your English and your pronunciation, why you might need to repeat yourself. もちろん発音が悪いかもしれない。あるいは向こうが、えー、did not understand you. Don't feel bad. I speak and people say, excuse me? No big deal. I did not. Most likely did not make a mistake with my pronunciation. That's not why we don't understand. I don't know if I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Excuse me? Pardon me? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to s a They couldn't hear it. They were thinking something else. Maybe noise in the background. I don't know if I'm going to say it. Many reasons. Not understanding. So it's not a really big deal. But, you don't have so much confidence, so you will likely think it's all your fault. It may not be. If I go back again to my original slide, I can show you my, my second. Yeah, there we go. If you can read Japanese, you can read that. 日本人の英語の発音、あの、and I can't read it all. But I wrote it, but I can't read it all. But anyway, it's talking about a test to determine why people have to repeat themselves. It was kind of like a 
hidden survey. And um, it's based on a research study done in Georgia in 1992. So it's a long, it's a very old report, but I found it to be very interesting and slightly disturbing, but interesting more. So in a classroom in a university in Georgia, a professor who was a language professor was giving a lecture. なんか、大学、なんか、ジョージアにある大学の先生が、え、英語の先生なんですけど、え、レクチャーをやりましたんで、もうそのレクチャートピックは彼のトピックじゃなくて、違うトピックなんですよ。で、試験のものです。Going to be on the test. The information was going to be on the test. So, this is 1992. So, remember, there was no iPhone. There was no, you know, MP, whatever. It was a cassette player. So, it was a cassette tape. Wakamono datara. Yeah, we used to have cassettes. We put the cassette in and push play. Microphone got chika. There, everyone could hear the lecture. On the board in the back was a huge, maka, nambyaku nin ga imashita. Maybe 100, 150, 200 people in this lecture. And on the board was a blonde lady from Ohio. She was a well-known, pretty well-known professor on her topic. And I stress the blonde part because she was not Japanese or Chinese making that point. Now, so what, right? It's a person giving their information. But the interesting thing was, overhead projector, everybody could see Kimpatsu she's telling everybody her topic. And at the end of the class, the professor says, stop, and says, <clears throat> okay, any questions? No questions. This is going to be on the test. Got it. Are you, any, any questions, anybody? Uh, no, nothing. Everybody gets up and walks out. No class go wari. That class was over. Next group comes in. Mixture of the similar people. And they sit down. Teacher rewinds. Makimodoshita. Cassette tape. Kuchikirete, minasawatte. And play. 今回は中国の人のチャイニーズ ladies picture on the overhead screen. Very large, you know, same large picture, but the cassette was the same. 内容は全く同じ。入れてプレイ。同じハワイ州の人の声。アメリカのハワイ州の人の声。で、but one Chinese lady face on the screen. And it was very interesting because right after the lecture, the teacher pressed the button, stop, and said, okay, any question? Many hands go up. I didn't quite understand everything that was said. I'm not sure what she said, uh, is this going to be on the test? I'm not sure. I, this is not fair. And the professor was very shocked. I'll come back with what happened next right after these messages. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, inviting you to join us on Wednesdays at 1 o'clock for Cannabis Chronicle, the 10,000-year odyssey where we take a look at cannabis as food, cannabis as medicine, cannabis and religion, and cannabis and dear old Uncle Sam. So please join us to learn all about cannabis. Again, Wednesdays at 1 o'clock. Thank you. Thanks to our ThinkTech underwriters and grantors. 
the Atherton Family Foundation, Carol Monley and the Friends of Think Tech, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, Collateral Analytics, the Cook Foundation, Dwayne Carisu, the Hawaii Community Foundation, the Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners, Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, Hawaiian Electric Company, Integrated Security Technologies, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Kamehameha Schools, MW Group, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sydney Stern Memorial Trust, Volo Foundation, Yuriko J. Sugimura. Thanks so much to you all. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Scott Perry, and I'm your host on Let's Talk Hawaii, live from Honolulu. And right now, we're going to continue with our topic on why you might need to repeat yourself. So as I was talking before the break, the classroom heard the exact same lecture, but this time there were several questions. Not everyone, of course, but there were there were several questions. The professor was very surprised because the voice was exactly the same as the first person, the original speaker. The only difference was the face on the screen. Now, I was very curious as to why would they say they don't understand. It was the voice of a native speaker from Ohio Shu, which is a Midland area, which is the, one of the standard Hatsong. So I read further and I found out why. And the reason is, as you might imagine, some people are a little bit lazy. So if they could find an excuse for not doing so well, they might use that excuse. So maybe they weren't going to study. Native speaker, native She's not a native, she's not an American lady looking. So maybe she doesn't speak clearly. So they were using that as an excuse, possibly. And um, I said, okay. So even if she did speak perfectly, there are people who might pretend they don't understand for their advantage. So if they didn't study and they failed the test, they could say, hey, I didn't understand. That's kind of like not a great thing to do, but some people said, yeah, no problem, I'm fine. They went out. Those are probably the better students, I'm guessing. Better students, at the moment. So I found out about this and I wanted to recreate it. So I set up a similar situation and I use my voice as the control. Hi there, my name is da 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 and I gave a little 10 second speech. But I used the picture of one of my staff. He's a cool guy, kind of, um, he's a very cool guy, and I, I used his photo. Uh, he's not Japanese or Chinese either, and, um, but he also had uh, sandy brown hair. Looks like he's an outdoor sportsman. And I used his picture. He's about, I took about 39, 40 years old. I used his photo and I asked people online to do a test. Listen to this voice and, you know, tell me his level. Is it this level, this level, or this level? Good, great, excellent, not so good, bad. And what do you think? So, Few hundred people 
logged in and clicked. I ask them, are you from Japan? Are you American? Are you male, female? Many detailed questions. So I had lots of data. I don't know if you can see it. I'll tell you about it. Data がいっぱいできて、で、I knew who was answering the question. And the results were very surprising. Again, many people that saw his face said, no problem at all. I understand everything. Perfectly clear. Interesting talk. Go on. Mataku onnaji koe. Kao kaite. This time I put a 45 year old Japanese man. Picture on the screen and ask another hundred people. And the results were very different again. It was confirmed. The first person, Heiki no Skowa, top score, they were a one. Everything was great. One is the best. The second person, Nihonjin no Kao, same my voice. Got A four on the average, so quite a bit lower. And I'm thinking, why? What to, what the, nothing changed. It was me. I don't care if I'm a teacher, I'm a pronunciation teacher, but many people found problems with my hatong, with my voice, when his face was over my voice. And I was going, oh, wow, this is really interesting. <clears throat> I did the same thing with a female.、Um, Japanese lady's face, another lady's face, and I got the same result. And then I used another control. I put a Japanese lady's face who had challenges with her hatsun. Hontoni hui hatsun, katakane ego bakkari. Her pronunciation was not clear at all. I would rank it as an eight or a nine. Surprisingly, I was surprised that the people who were in the house were in the house. They 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 were in the house. Hard to understand in Japanese English. But the American people said, I can't understand her. I got to give her a 10. I, I don't know what she's saying. Nani yutte ga wakan nai ju. De, Nihon jin ga 5 or 4 or 6. De, ichi jan nai kero atari mai. Demo, they gave her a 5 or 6. She should be a 10 or 9. But I'm thinking, why would, why would other Japanese? Give her a higher score. Ryu wa, that's how they speak also. If they give her a low score, they give themselves a low score. So I said, okay, I understand. You hear yourself, but you don't want to lower your own score. <clears throat> Basically, Matomate, everything told me that about 25% of American people will look at you if you're. If you don't look the same, and basically say, I don't understand what you're saying. And the reason is maybe they don't want to do the work or get something or do something. So, Moshi, Starbucks, I want a double wrap of mochaccino latte with soy milk and da da. Oh, m e n d o k s a I don't want to do that. They don't want to get that. So, excuse me? And Nihonjin goes, Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, no. What can I do? And they will basically freeze, cancel the order, or change. Coffee, please. Coffee is easy. Right here. So I could basically say, What did you say? And you will run away. And that saves me from doing the work if I'm a lazy guy. But if I'm serious, I'll go, I will hear you and get what you want. So for my students, I tell them, If they've, you know, I say, don't worry. Your sound is good. So if someone pretends they don't understand, look them in the eye, say, 
I would like a double frappa mochaccino latte with soy milk, please. Clearly. Don't have to change anything. I can't trick them. I have to get what they want. And you will get what you want. So that was the summation. So, but, if your pronunciation is really not so great, people will honestly say, I don't understand. And that's going to be maybe the majority if you have a problem. But if you're actually perfect pronunciation, you could be born in America, raised in America, uh, second, third generation Japanese, doesn't matter. Um, people might try the trick unless you just have voicing. Hey man, give me a nantoka, nantoka, nantoka. Ah, can't trick this guy. He's, he's a native. I tell my students, don't worry. Be clear, look him in the eye, and strong, strong voice. You'll have no problems. So, if you'd like to read the details of my uh, research report, and, and, and funny thing, some of the people were my students looking at me, going, oh, his TH has a problem. I don't know. My students, they know more information. But um, they were, you know, surprised. I was. Okay, so I'm hearing something. Okay. And yes, if you do come to Hawaii, I have what's called a Hawaii boot camp. It's a very fun time, and many people come here, and we have confidence and speak clearly. I'm going to show you a couple quick pictures of what we do. That's us from earlier this year. Many people come, we gather, we talk. Next slide, we have the arrival. And my next slide. A scavenger hunt. We are finding people in Waikiki to talk to. Here we have a Canadian eating ice cream on the coldest day of Japan. Canada, 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 Dakara, not so cold. Next slide. Everyone had to get on a train and take a selfie, or not a train, but a bus. Bus, the selfie, totta. And the next slide, we have our boot camp house. Nice house on the Kailua side. And we are having dinner together and so on. I think I have one more slide. Oh, dinner preparation. And last slide exercise, Hatsong Kyose training. So we do this once or twice a year. Next one coming up in October. A lot of fun if you're interested. And thank you for joining me. This is Scott Perry for Let's Talk Hawaii. See you next time.